Hey everybody, welcome to another unboxing video. Today we have the new reprint from 25th Century Games, Raw by Reiner Knizia. This is a classic 1999 originally released auction game. And for any new gamer, this has kind of been uh, one of those mythological games that uh, is hard to, to get a hand on. So when this was announced for the reprint, I really wanted to hop on it. I've played it at a couple conventions and uh, I was really excited to have a chance to get my, my own copy here. This uh, deluxe edition is a little, a little over the top, a little luxurious. So I figured it'd be fun to open it up and, and see what everything actually feels like. So if you don't know anything about Raw, the main kind of loop of the game is pulling these tiles out of this big old cloth bag and then, you know, choosing or being forced to have an auction. So here we have the cloth bag for the tiles, very large. And this is the cloth bag um, for the, the scoring victory tokens. So you can see there's a whole bunch of plastic bags full of tiles here. So these tiles here are the actual kind of currency that you're using for bidding throughout the game. Nice thick wooden pieces there. Um, I'm not gonna open up all these bags, but you guys can see here, um, you know, there's about like six bags or so, and these are the actual tiles that will be in this bag for when you're, you're playing the game. So we'll just kind of open one up here. Um, here you could see one of the disaster tiles here. You can see they have a nice thick wooden uh, look to them. They feel good, they're nice. Printing is nice and smooth. Um, I know I was reading some people are concerned about these tiles being a little big and cumbersome to mix up in the bag. So I'd like to dump those in the bag at the end of this and, and try to feel what that is like. Uh, the real heft of this bag comes from these metal scoring tokens. So there's a couple of bags here. You can see there's a whole bunch of different denominations. Ooh, these are nice and cold. This is just sitting outside. So you can see on the front you have the denomination and then the back when you have it in front of you to hide your victory points. Um, so you can see these are broken up into ones, twos, fives, and tens. And they all kind of have the same design and finish on them. But these are good. Metal Currency is uh, probably my favorite upgrading games, I think. Just a nice heft to the, to the whole, whole thing. A um, couple other miscellaneous wooden pieces. We have, oh my goodness, this is the chunkiest uh, wooden piece I've ever seen. Uh, so this is your actual raw statue. So when you call an auction, this is what you actually put in front of you. Very nice and imposing there. Here we have our boat tracker. So this is kind of what is gonna keep track of the round as you're playing. And then we have, I won't take this out of the bag. This is just your round tracker. So you play the game over three rounds and you just flip this as the game goes on. Uh, also in here we have the main board and the different player boards. So let's go ahead and just open this up. So nice linen finish on this. This is the actual um, auction board and this is where your boat will go. So you're keeping track of your um, round tracker here and then your tiles will go down here. And then in here, these are all the same. We'll just take one of the player boards out to take a look at it. So here you could see, I think these are for different player counts, I'm gonna say. Ah, yes, okay, so this is for different uh, player counts. So you could see here you have four um, kind of gold tokens, or you'll have three depending on the player count. So we'll put these off to the side. Uh, and the last thing we have in this box is the rule book. You can see it's a really quite simple game. I, I've really fallen in love with auction games. And you know, I've read that this is really, and I've played it before, but this is really the most condensed auction game out there that's really solid. So I'm really excited to have this in the, in the collection. Um, let's go ahead and just for the heck of it, we have our bag here. Let's just dump some of these tiles in here. So you can see this is a, this, <laughs> I hope the video is giving it a good sense of scale because this bag is humongous. I adore it. Oh, you hear that clitter, clitter clatter? And if you guys are enjoying this video, please consider liking and subscribing. It is always great to see support and have you guys around the channel. But what I did here was empty all of the tiles into the big bag, just to give you an idea. Everything does fit pretty comfortably. I don't know if the video is giving it a good sense of scale, but this is a, a pretty big bag and um, 
all the tiles fit there pretty nicely. Very easy to stick your hand down and just pick a, pick a tile. I know some folks are worried about the size of these, if it would be hard to um, you know, reach in there, but no, they, they really slide off of each other. There's almost no friction between these, so it's very easy to reach in here and, and pick them out. So you pick here, you can see the tiles slot in very nicely on the main player board here, which you're gonna be doing throughout the game. So very, very happy with how this all looks. All right, well that is Raw Pharaoh Edition from 25th Century Games. You know, the pictures looked great online and I'm very, very pleased with how this game all came out. So I'm, I'm very, very excited to finally have a copy of this. It is quite hard to find one of the older versions, so it's good that this is out there, more accessible, especially for newer gamers. Um, like I said, this did come out in 99, so uh, it would have been hard as a toddler to, to know that Raw was gonna be as great as it was. <laughs> And I am really excited to, to share this with a lot of folks. So thank you again, guys, for watching. Please subscribe and like if you enjoyed the video. And I will see you on the next one. Bye. Quick little extra part of the video here. If, in case you were curious, everything does fit pretty nicely in the box. You can see the bag with all the tiles fits snugly in there. You can kind of smush them out. Put the rule book on top. Maybe I should put the rule book on the bottom here. <laughs> and then this closes nice nice and flush here. So the box is a little big, but plenty big enough to fit the deluxe tile. All right, see you guys next time. Bye. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing for more videos like this. I also have a Twitter and Instagram where I post thoughts and photos of games I'm playing throughout the week, and I hope to see you there. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.